Hello and welcome to another episode of Green Pain. I'm Michael, joined by James. Hello. Today we've got Calumet, and on the hot sauce side, we've got Secret Aardvark. I'm super interested to see how that tastes because I've seen it all over Reddit and. Uh, We've never had it before. Yeah, it's brand new. Um, this was given to us by John, so thank you for that. Thank you, John. <laughs> <laughs> I want to. I want to rate corks. You want to rate corks? As I want to well? rate corks, and I okay. think we should do it out of five so that we can't go back and rate your palm sweat. <laughs> 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 okay. Yeah. Fine. Okay. Ready? All right. Oh, that sounded good. It did sound good. It was a good squeak, but I needed more pop. I needed more like a... No, that was pretty good. I was like... You know what I mean? Mm, yeah, it was squeaky, but... Welcome, and... welcome to Cork ASMR. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like the top. It's actually wood, See? which is nice. Good little touch. Um, so this is a... And it's real cork. Yeah, a straight bourbon whiskey. From t Kentucky, I like the uh, the bottle. It's really nice. I feel like the top is not conducive to pouring because you know how those actually it poured relatively well. Oh, I thought it would spill. No, yeah, it's not nearly as bad as um, Sexton. Oh my gosh, <laughs> Sexton sucks. Yeah. So this was given to us uh, by a good friend, and it's a small batch, so it's taken from less than fifty barrels. Mm -hmm. um, so there's less than 50 barrels that they have to pick from in order to make all of these specific whiskeys. Um, and that's what makes it a small batch. Yeah. And um, like, it, it must be such a small, like a micro distillery kind of, because, I mean, I've never heard of this. And I don't when know we if looked it, it up, it was even so difficult to find the information. Yeah, so it's, it. so it's originally the family name comes from Kentucky Derby horse racing. Oh. And like one of the sons from a really um, famous horse racer branched out and wanted to uh, make whiskey. Make whiskey. <laughs> so th I think this is the product of that. I yeah. think okay. from what I, from my research, <laughs> um, that's what I came up with. It smells pretty good. Yeah, I like the smell. It's got quite a um, vanillary smell. Mm, to I was it. just about to say that. Mm. What do they say is supposed to be like the the smelling notes. Um, so I actually looked up before because I actually just wanted to know about it. So I looked up the smelling notes and they say, oh, different people <laughs> say different things, but the majority of things that kind of lined up between all the mm -hmm. um, sites that I looked at is just oak and vanilla. And then some said caramel, but they, that was more taste because it apparently it is quite sweet. Mm -hmm. But I do smell, I do smell the vanilla. Yeah, me too. Yeah. And of course the oakiness yeah. of oh, most okay. bourbons. That's good. It's not bad. It's kind of like a plain Jane. Nothing really. Uh, it doesn't hit you at the end. Yeah. It kind of mellows out over, over its evolution. It's kind of just a basic. It's good though. Yeah, uh, there's a little bit of. I wouldn't say caramel. It's more like a fruity sweetness in the in the front when mm -hmm. you when you that first taste. I taste the wood at the beginning. <clears throat> I don't taste you, fruit. You taste the wood at the beginning, and I taste fruit at the end. You do. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, and I think the that fruitiness that I'm getting at the beginning, that like sweet fruitiness, is this is um, seventy four percent corn, eighteen percent rye and 8% malted barley. So I think that sweetness of the corn, mm -hmm. I think that's what's getting me at the beginning. And then it kind of mellows out in that rye malted barley at the end. It's not offensive at all though. No. I enjoy it. I think it's a... What percentage is this? Um, this is Cause at the end, 45% like, oh, like, of like, uh, all. <clears throat> you feel like right at the end? Yeah, but I mean that's that's not a lot of alcohol. Forty five percent. No, forty five percent is, is pretty the marginal. marginal. Yeah. Yeah. It's good though. It's a. I want to. It's a gross. Gross. <laughs> yeah. 
Next time I have grass, I'll uh, let you know <laughs> how, that, how that tastes and if it ever reminds me. I think it's, um, this is something that I'd want to put in a, in a mixed drink. Because it, it, it does have very good flavor. It's not, it doesn't have huge body though. Yeah, but it's a small batch. I feel like you can't do that to a small batch. A small batch mean? is meant to be more like exclusive, more something that you enjoy. I agree yourself. with you, but I, I think Like this you put is... Jack Daniels in a mixed drink or like Knob Creek, something like that. Yeah, I agree with you, but I don't think this is there yet. <clears throat> if you know what I mean. I don't know. It's, it's very good. But I'd, I'd want to put this in a mixed drink. Like, if this in a mint julep, it would bring that mint julep to life. Because it has a, a good enough well, flavor profile. Something simple like that, yeah. I feel like that would be, that would also be very good. Yeah. This in an old fashioned, very good. Because mm. it, it, it would cut through some of like the harsher um, tastes in, a, in an old fashioned. It would cut through some of that sweetness because it does, at the end, like you said, Oh, at the beginning you said like the the wood mm -hmm. flavor. I think that's that's where I'm putting it. So what would you rate it? I can't give up this one a high score. I, I, you know, it's it's, not, it's not, good, but it's, it's not it's great. You know? it's not. <laughs> I I want to put it in a mixed drink. That's. But I that's love where I this put bottle it. and everything. The bottle, the bottle is makes it, the makes bottle it, is attractive. It looks like it's gonna be. So Stunning, but it's you know, it's not knock your socks off like I expected it to be. And it is eight. It's an eight-year-old whiskey, mm. so it's done its time. Honestly, I'm a little bit disappointed. You think? Yeah. I I don't know. It tastes so earthy. Do you not taste the, like I taste the like earthy. grassy, like earthy dirt flavor? Yeah, I get in the middle. I, I, see, the... I no, I see what you're saying. <clears throat> and I feel like that's gonna that earthiness is gonna cut through some of the sugar and the harsher flavors in an old fashioned mm -hmm. or in a mint julep, and it's really gonna make that drink come to life. I think this is the perfect mixed drink, whiskey. Well, we can find that out in our post show when we make a New York sour with this t particular whiskey. I think I think we've got the perfect whiskey. Yeah, honestly, yeah. Yeah, it might be pretty good. I, mean, I think you're right, actually. But. To score it, to go back to scoring, I think I'm gonna have to give it. I want to say high 60s, but I'm gonna go to like 66. Yeah, I'm gonna go 55. 55? Yeah, yeah. It's a it's a really good whiskey. It's good, but it's not great. You know, it's not. It's I think it's like run of the mill. Yeah, it's nothing to like write home about. Even though it's what 40 to 50 dollars. Yeah, 40 to 50 dollars. Yeah, it depends where you get it, but. That's not cheap. I mean, you can get good whiskeys for, like you can get a Woodford bottle for less than that or around that same yeah, price. Yeah, so around that same if price. If I and had to is... choose, I would choose the Woodford over that. What, how, how much is this? This is 750, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, 750 mil. But I have to say, props to the bottle. That, that I, bottle looks, looks really so good. good. And the cork, yeah. like you said. Yeah. Oh, we didn't give you a rating. rating we didn't for the rating for the cork. What would you, what would you put it at? Oh, uh, what, 10? No, no, we're doing five. Five? Yeah, okay. So we can't give a middle. This is an AP test. Um... <laughs> this will be my first AP test. <laughs> oh, that's, what, that's would you, what would you give it? I'll give that a four. I'm giving it a two. What? Yeah. It's, you said you liked yeah, it. Yeah, it's a good squeak, but I want more... No, I'm I'm judging it on like oh the the look yeah hundred percent four oh okay you yeah. mean like the yeah I'm I'm giving yeah the initial yeah. oh the initial thing was like a three for me three but the, okay but the look yeah the it, look four hundred percent yeah yeah pr that's real wood yeah yeah they did well so in a previous episode James and I played paper football and I whooped his butt James is one game up I'm one down so <sighs> you may do the honors I will do the honors but oh, it's stuck. There we go. That's good. Nope, that's 10. <laughs> one. How good. All right. So he's one up. We're going to put this up here. And that will keep score <clears throat> of every game we play. And today, we'll be playing a nice game of dice. Dice. 
So I learned this game in Austin and uh, it's I taught it to these guys and it's been one of our go-to drinking games for a long time now. Yeah, it's been a couple of years. So um, this is the, the first game that we teach all of our friends. Yeah. So it will be good. Um, threes equals zero and all the other numbers are exactly the same, or oh, their face value and you're trying to get the lowest score. And every single time you roll, you have to take at least one die. Dice. Die. 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 You may do the honors. I will because I won't. <laughs> Best of three? Uh, yeah. Oh, that's a shame. Ooh. Ooh. That's yeah, that's another a shame. Three. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Five. <laughs> Oh, seven. <laughs> Ooh, that is that is that is a rough one. That's a rough twelve. Twelve there. Are you kidding? Me? Oh, that's the, <laughs> that is six right there in one run. Hey. Off you go. No, you can go. You want to go? One zero. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. This is looking good. Nope. <laughs> not, it's looking not, great. not looking so good. And six. Oh. And that is an eight. Take those. <laughs> What's that? Six, that seven, nine. Nine. <laughs> So do you take the one and the two and then re-roll the six? I have to get a five or a, a or lower, a lower five than a or five. Lower, yeah. And then we need a tie break after that, yeah. Let's Ooh. go! Okay. One, one. One, one. Oh, that is two sips, my man. <laughs> you just dropped two dice. Three there. I'll take those two. Four, please. It's still not bad. Three. <laughs> yes! Oh, no whiskey! Four. Start. Oh. <laughs> oh, two and threes. Oh, oh, what did you get? Four. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> that is three, two, one. Let's see it. That you can three yes. Are you gonna take those ones? Took one of those ones. Oh, oh I should yes. have taken the other one. That is good. That's five. I really can't get higher than. <laughs> that is six. <laughs> you need three or lower. <laughs> Come on, please, please. Oh, yes! Are you joking? Okay. Two all. <laughs> <laughs> Why did it have to come Ooh. down to the wire? Oh, this is ugly. Come on, man. Give me a three. Give me at least one three. Two. Okay. <laughs> Where am Why I? are you sitting back in your seat? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Where are my trick dice when I need them? <laughs> yes. Yes! Six. Lower the... Okay, so five... <laughs> I'll take six. Okay. Oh, that's high. Six is high. Ooh. 
Mm, all those were all very high dice. One. <laughs> Go on, no threes. All sixes right here. Yeah. Three. Oh, that is four. Oh, yes. Four. What would I have rolled? <laughs> a five. Still a one. Oh, wrong way. That's ten. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. No, that's, it is, that's, okay, it that. is one, one. You'll leave that up there. Everyone can see. That is good. Ah, oh, that makes me happy. That makes me so happy. <sighs> you know... A blind squirrel finds an acorn every once in a while. <laughs> what? A bird in the hand is, is worth, worth an early worm. <laughs> That's the same. All right, let's move on to the hot sauce, shall we? Oh, dude, that is bad. All right. I'm excited for this. I'm really excited for so this. So the story goes, you heard about this on Reddit. Reddit. Yeah, I saw it all over Reddit. What's so special about it? And then it's just apparently really good hot sauce. I know, or I've seen people um, boast that they are on like their fourth. Um, their is it really hot? Thing. Or does it just taste really good? Apparently, it just tastes really good. I don't know if it's too hot. But it's on the, the hot sauce um, Reddit page. It smells glorious. Ooh. You can smell the tomato and the um uh it smells like what are the word what's the word I'm looking for? It smells like tomato and uh it smells like chipotle barbecue. That's the one. Like a like a chipotle sauce. This says this says it's a unique a unique. It's a unique blend. Mm. I love unique blends. Yeah, this says it's uh, a unique Caribbean Tex-Mex hybrid made with habaneros and tomato. Yeah, so I've like heard people literally rave about this and that they're on their fourth tube of it and they were only wanting more. So I'm sure it's going to be great. Let's hope. So, I love the name too. And the Secret little aardvark. The little <laughs> and the little um, thing, like trying to eat it out. <laughs> trying to eat it out the bottle yeah. is so great. All right, ready to dink it? <laughs> Just go. You pulling a Rami, bro. <laughs> trying to stick a square peg into a round hole. Green bush. Mm. That is good. I got a little bit of heat. Yeah. It's good. It's got a very um, good first taste on the, on the first bite. It doesn't leave you hanging. Mm. It's a sweet chipotle e kind of barbecue-y. Mm -hmm. That's where the Tex-Mex comes in. Mm. That's definitely a good that explanation is, for it. Yeah. That is damn good. I see why people rave about this stuff now. Get a good amount on there, see how hot it gets. Oh, hello. You feeling it a bit? Yeah. There's a hint of garlic in there, and I don't know what, like if it's the spices or, do they actually put it in there? But I, I just, I taste garlic. Yeah, as the second to last ingredient. <laughs> I don't know why, I just taste it. <clears throat> mm. Ah, it must be the calcium chloride. <laughs> Fire roasted tomatoes. Tomato juice. Yeah. Mustard. Ooh, mustard seeds. That's a that's a new one. Whoa! It does get a little toasty. I need some water. No, we're not allowed water. We should have some um, bourbon. <laughs> Is it really getting you that bad? Yeah. I had a lot at the end there. Yeah, same. I mean, it's it's tangy. It gets it's crispy. Up there. <laughs> it's crispy. It's crispy. Yeah, it is quite warm. It is. It's 
I just read it. It's I just read five, it. Yeah, I just read it. It's, read it. Oh, that was good. That was no. good. It's 5,000 Scoville units. No, it's not. That's what it says. No, it's not. I promise you, that's what it says. It's literally the, the heat of like a jalapeno, less than. Well, it is a habanero sauce. Hey, Siri. How many Scoville units are in a jalapeno? Yeah, no. Jalapeno is like 2,500 to 8,000. There's no way. That one's way harder. That's what it said. 5,000 Scoville. <laughs> it is, it is uh, tasty. Uh, what, okay. While it's at its hottest right now, what are you going to put it at? I put it at like a 6, 7. I put it at a, seven, a 6. 6? I put it at 6. I'm going to 6 and a half. That is, it gets toasty. It gets real toasty. But that flavor in the beginning is so, so good. and good. That bottle is going to go so mm. quick. We're going to have to, uh, and I, I don't know why the Reddit is, I the love Reddit. it so much. Yeah. That was a really good episode. I'm definitely going to use that hot sauce on literally everything else that we eat yeah. because it's so flippin' good. That's really good. good. Um, and I'm really excited to use this in um, yeah, I was a little bit disappointed with that on its own, but I think it'll be good in It's going to be great in, in a, New York style. In New York style. And we're going to do that in extra grain. So, till next time. Please like and subscribe. Comment below. Yep. Yep. Matt, stop sticking your foot up. <laughs> <laughs>